Philly is favored by four and a half points tonight. Uh, who do you like to cover the spread, Gary? And the road team has covered the spread in eight of the Nets' last nine games. Yeah, so I'm, I would say that like home road splits are important, but maybe not as important as we always make them out to be, except when it comes to the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, obviously, their road splits are definitely more important and tell you more just because of the availability of Kyrie Irving. And they are 5-1-1 one, one ATS their past seven road games. At this point, with two teams that are still kind of figuring it out, but are obviously among the most talented in the league on paper. I mean, say what you will about the Nets' current situation in the playoff standings. Um, I'm just going to take the points here. I'll take the four and a half. I think this is going to be a relatively close game. I think Philly is probably the better team. They are at home, but I'm going to take the points in what I think should be a pretty close spot. Nick, what are you doing here? Yeah, I, I've been thinking long and hard about this one. My my first intuition is Philly. Um, you know, I, I think they, you know, the Nets just have nobody to guard Embiid. And if anything, they they gave the Nets the player who Embiid loves going up against most uh, in his former teammate, Andre Drummond. So I, I think Embiid's going to have a, a huge night. Um, but when you're talking about guys in, in KD and Kyrie, who, like Gary said, not out of the question on this night or any night that they could combine for 60 plus, they're going to keep you in the game. So I, I don't think this turns into a blowout one way or the other. It's, it's going to be a matter of, you know, how that Ben Simmons vitriol energy ends up being directed. You know, it's like, did, are the Sixers players going to be in on this? Like, are they going to be coming out all jazzed up, like with Ben Simmons on the bench? Does that lead to them either playing harder or playing more recklessly where you come out with like too much energy? It, it's it's a really hard situation to read because, you know, like Gary had said, Simmons is going to be there, but he's not playing. So it's going to be a very strange environment where, you know, the crowd is acting like it would be one of those situations where if he did play, he'd get booed every time he touched the ball, but he's just going to be sitting on the bench. So we, we really haven't seen, you know, a situation like this as far as what that environment is going to be. But I think chances are Philly ends up feeding off of it. I think they're the much deeper team. Uh, they're a team that can withstand, you know, 65 plus points from KD and Kyrie because they have the vastly better third and fourth option. So uh, I'm going to go with Philly here.